Let's start. Today we will see how to implement the Gesture Detector widget in Flutter Android. Many Flutter widgets have the inbuilt click events like, on tap, on long press, etc. But, some Flutter widgets like text widgets do not have any such click event attributes. So here we make use of the Gesture Detector widget. This widget provides various user input events like, on tap, on long press, on double tap, etc. Let's see the main.dart file. First, we import the material.dart package. Then, in the main function, we create the stateless widget called myApp. This is the myApp stateless widget. In the build function, we create a material app and apply a theme. The home attribute is set to a stateful widget called my home page. Then we create a state object of this stateful widget, whose name is underscore my home page state. This is underscore my home page state class, here we will design our app. In the build function, first, we call the scaffold widget, which is the base, upon which we will draw other widgets. The app bar attribute is set to the app bar widget. Here we use our title variable as the title of this app bar. Then we set the body attribute to a center widget, which aligns its child at the center of the screen. Inside the center widget we have a text widget, with hello world text. Now, since the text widget does not have any user input event attributes, we have enclosed this text widget inside a gesture detector widget. Here we have used the on tap, on double tap, and on long press events. So when we click, double click, or long press this text widget, the corresponding logs will be shown in the log cat. Let's run the app. As you can see, as I performed the various click events on the text widget, the respective logs appeared in the log cat. So that's it. That's how you can implement a gesture detector widget in Flutter Android. Thank you.